but but the beauty, like, I want to walk on the moon. That was what I decided when I was nine. I want to walk on the moon, and, and I still haven't. Loser. Yeah. You know, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't get to do the one thing I dreamed of doing. But uh, what I did with it, sort of answer your question, Luke, is I recognize that I'm never probably going to walk on the moon. I'm sure not going to though if I don't try and I don't change who I am. So I kind of stuck that up on the wall. I also would love to be an archaeologist. And I'm still hoping this time to spend oh, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, does, Danny does my soundtrack. And, um, and, and several other things. So what I do is I sort of <laughs> stick him up in the distance. And then when I have uh, a couple hours of free time, I think, well, if I was ever going to walk in the moon or be uh, Harrison Ford, then what, what should I do now? What should I do this afternoon? What should I do this weekend? And how can I change who I am so that I'm slightly closer to the person that I dream of being? Recognizing that I'm probably never actually going to be that person. But every step I take towards it makes me feel a little better about myself. And also, the last thing is drop your threshold of victory as low as possible. <laughs> because nobody, Luke, you have to get over this, but nobody really cares or understands what you're doing. All right? I mean, your folks try. But, but in reality, it's, nobody, it's really up to you. And yet, we often wait for other people to tell us when we've succeeded. And there's no way to match those two things up. So stop waiting for other people to give you a validation that you are successful. Allow yourself to feel successful every day. Give yourself, you know, like this weekend if, I don't know, uh, you're building a rocket at the university here, right? So why don't you get in and study, um, you know, sup supersonic rocket design? What's the difference between supersonic rocket engine design and hypersonic rocket engine design? What are you going to have to do? How do? What do you do with the shock cones on the outside of the rocket engine? This weekend, you could study that. By Sunday night, you still don't have a rocket that, that has gone beyond the Von Karman line but you're slightly closer to it. And Sunday night, celebrate the heck out of it. I know more about this than I did before. I still haven't done it, but I'm closer. And that's how I sustain interest and, and passion and, and, uh, and a feeling of success my whole life. And it's not gonna go as planned. Life, life will not go as planned. But uh, that's okay, it's still interesting. All right? Thanks. Thank you. Luke. Thank you.